I've been doing the Quadrant Tours since 2010 and uh, I've led tours to most parts of the world. Uh, I've probably been to the USA 10 times in that time, something like that, and uh, this one has definitely far more technicality to it than any of the previous ones. I would like to go on a tour like this because I would like to learn and understand the dynamic of what might happen here in the next couple of years. My experience tells me what happens in the US we usually follow a couple of years later and uh, we're going to see up there uh, different feeding methods, we're going to see um, value adding of our product, uh, all which is done far more extensively up there than what is done here. We're going up there in uh, the USA's winter in the north uh, which will be cold but it's the time of the year uh, when they do get rain and uh, when their season sets up uh, being a forecast drier year here in the southern hemisphere is usually a forecast wetter year up there. Their herd has been depleted whilst we've had three very wet years in Australia uh, going into a dry one now. They've had three very dry years and going into a wet one now. Hence uh, we're going to see a herd rebuild up there and uh, I would expect to see a lot of uh, heifer retention going on uh, which should make for us and, and lessen our competition from the United States in our Asian markets. We're going into Chicago because of the value adding that's going on, like uh, believe it or not probably one of Australia's biggest customers are the grinders uh, of our manufacturing product and we're going to be hosted in Chicago by McDonald's uh, at their head office and uh, shown the whole process. Uh, it's a day of learning that day. Uh, along with uh, another value-added factory there has been shown to us by Kilcoy Global Foods. Bear in mind we're also going to two of the uh, biggest Brahmin seed stock producers in the world down in the bottom of Texas near a little village called Hungerford that is the uh, V8 and the Hutchins uh, and any of the uh, great Brahmin genetics around the world seem to go back to those two parent uh, studs. It's always positive uh, for people to go to the States because they get there and they get the wow factor and the simple size of the place um, and the size of the herd. Uh, but they also see the changes that are happening there and uh, the first reaction is often, well, we don't do it that way. But then by the time they're on their way home, they're thinking, well, maybe we should try this. Uh, because uh, if those blokes are doing it, they're way smarter than us, so let's follow. There's always a, a great dynamic on these tours where people become friends for life. Uh, honestly, they, um, we all get on there with one thing in common. We're all out of the one industry, all looking to learn, and uh, we all find a fair bit in common. And there's a great learning experience from the people in the north learning off the people in the south and vice versa. Uh, the people in the east learning off the people in the west. I uh, find those dynamics and the continual contact that a, a lot of uh, our passengers uh, in coming years seem to um, to make and compare notes. Uh, it's very strong and uh, a very binding experience to be part of.